so back in 2017 we remember the bull run right so back then a fund was really popular uh was mainly the small caps and the mid caps were really running and for small caps too popular for uh mutual funds i remember where franklin in small cap funds and reliance small cap funds reliance is nippon right now so let's see what happened what would have happened if we would have done an sip in 2017 and right now what would have been the return so tr- around 3 years back to now it's 2020 so 3 years for 3 years we are doing an sip of 10000 rupees let's show me the return let's see if you would have done sip since 3 years still you'd have had a negative return of 14% so sip doesn't mean that you are going to get a positive return you are going to get a negative return and forget about this about 3 years let's see what would happen if you have invested 4 years back still negative Five years back, still negative. After five years, five long years, you are still in a negative territory. And don't just think that your capital is preserved. Minus one is nothing. I mean, for five years, just understand one small thing. If you'd have invested the money in liquid funds, you'd have had seven percent return for the last five years. For the five years, if you'd have had seven percent, that's in a simple interest term if i have to calculate that's around 35% 777 75 but it's going to be more than 35 percent because it's compounded so you would have lost that around 40 or 40 or something percent return in the last 5 years it might have been around 50% also i have not done the calculation but you'd have lost that return by just investing in an sip for the last 5 years 5 years is not enough for small caps and mid caps you need to have a longer time horizon of around 10 years okay so if you had invested 7 years back you'd have had a normal 9% return i mean with all that volatility you would have had just 9% return i'm not saying that you should not invest in small caps and mid caps but what you should do is you should diversify your investments that's that's why Th- that's like a basic and a core you need to invest some in mid caps small caps a little bit i mean i normally i have a course on mutual funds i do not i do not want to promote that course right now it feels bad just just give, just to give an idea i have a model portfolios out there for aggressive investors for less and aggressive investors they get an idea about how to allocate that total um assets like subs and even if uh, for a very very aggressive investor um in my point of view in my personal opinion this is not a financial advice it's my personal opinion one shouldn't invest more than 5% or max to max 10% ab- above 10% in small and mid caps it's better if you stick to large caps ideally i would not i am uh, me personally i would never invest more than 5% in small caps okay so because i do understand that the b- great companies the big um, bulls of this country um, that produces the maximum gross domestic products that pays the maximum amount of tax are the large cap companies i'm going to bet on them for the small caps i'm pretty sure that a lot of small caps they're just a waste okay a l- couple of them are good but a lot of them you cannot rely on them so it's better to diversify your portfolio that's one thing let's see what would have happened if you have invested in say for example nifty okay nifty bees ah uh, where is nifty okay let's see nifty etf so i'll have etf na no. okay index i need a nifty index fund any 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 index fund will do all of them will almost be the same let's say sbi okay 7 years return 2% even if you <laughs> if you have invested in nifty you'd have had just 2% return per annum i mean if that's less than savings account think about this so i'm i mean one sh- shouldn't invest only in equity i mean that's just my personal opinion okay i always diversify my portfolio right now i am going to make one more video uh, i'll publish it within a couple of days probably one two days just watch out for that video i'll show you exactly how i have diversified my portfolio i have rearranged everything 
in the past couple of weeks i've everything has been rearranged because i just had 7% invested in the equity market and right now i am sitting in 93% cash 93% is in debt actually not in cash in debt so i'm getting a 7% return it's in liquid funds i am going to allocate the entire capital i'm going to put some money into equity right now because i know the market has corrected a lot and i'm not going to do it in a bulk i'm going to show you exactly how i'm going to do it that's just how i'm going to do it this is not a personal this is not a financial advice okay by any means and this is just my personal opinion i'm just sharing it with you so let's see what would have happened if you have invested last three years mm, minus 10 percent nifty has given minus 10 percent and do you remember what was the pe of nifty back in 2017 i have it here back in 2017 nifty has touched 25 pe that's when i took out my investments in the month of july i have squared off all my positions once nifty hit 25 pe i squared off everything and i was sitting in debt funds for the last three years before that i did invest i started investing by around january month till uh, june i uh, till july i have invested and then the gst and all have come by around august july so i've came out and after that i was sitting in debt so even though nifty was at 21 pe i did invest i i was new back then in 2017 that's when i started my career i'm pretty new to the stock market i'm not saying i i know everything i'm pretty new to it this is just me sharing my personal journey and and i'm just recording it so that future me can watch these videos and learn something or can just reflect on how i have uh, come across my journey so anyways uh in july of 2017 i did square off my positions and after that look at the pe 25 26 29 it went up in 2019 in april month it touched 29 after that it's still very expensive 28 and historically if you see at any given point of time if the pe has touched 25 like 25 30 back in 2008 it crashed and again uh what happened it refresh it just went out don't know what happened here okay it has come so okay so back in again 2011 it has touched 25 again it has crashed but this time in 2017 when it touched 25 pe it didn't crash it kept going up and up and it was around that um pe 29 it was around p29 or 30 and people were saying a lot of uh, um respected people they were saying that the pe is justified i mean the pe of 29 is justified and they were asking people to invest if you watch if you have been watching uh, the business channels since the last 3 years nobody has said square off your positions and sit in cash nobody has said that everybody everybody have said like start investing in large caps and right now the mid caps have corrected a lot so invest in mid caps and small caps that's what people have been saying in business news channels but right now the pe is correcting it's 23 it's showing 23 the last time i checked i think it was at let me check today is um it's around 2 at night so i'm recording it so let's say 17 okay let's see what was the pe at right now um, 17th of march the pe of nifty is at 20 20 it has come down to 20 from a uh, high of 29 30 so yes right now it's going at 20 20 is mid range level it's still expensive it might come down but right now if you see normally nifty when it the p this is a nifty chart again the p where is the p chart yes this is the p chart of nifty if you see when nifty comes in back in 2008 when it touched 25 pe in january it has come down and when it was 20 21 by march april then again it has gone down all the way to a low of around 12 can you see this in november and december it touched 12 back in 2000 and 2000 it was a dot com bubble that it crashed from around 27 25 22 and then it has come all the way down to around yeah 2001 it was around 15 2002 it was around 15 14 14 ah uh, yes in 2003 again it was at 12 so 
it has uh, okay so yeah it has come down to around 12 13 levels even after the dot com bubble right now yeah it might come down but there is one significant difference here i'm going to show you the difference see the pb ratio of nifty 50 companies okay the profit book ratios in uh when there was a crash in 2008 everything the pb was so high at six five so it had to come down to around two point something okay it had to come down to around two point something by december when the stock market has crashed it was at around 2.4 even back in 2000 in the dot-com bubble see this uh, it was at around four point something that it crashed and it came down 2.2 around 2.14 or something at the low okay right now it's at around three so it's coming down to around two it has already come down to around two see this and if it comes down a little further to around 2.2 or 2.14 it will be just like the 2001 september uh or you can say if it comes down to around two from 2.9 to 2.4 it will be just like around december which is a good sweet spot to start an investment i mean don't just look at the PE, also look at the PB ratio, okay? So anyhow, this was a very bad month after 2008. So what I was about to say is, so right now, don't just see that since three years, if you'd have invested, you'd have lost around 10%. You're, you have also lost around 21% that you'd have gained through investing in debt funds or FDs. Because you would have had 7% return in FDs for the last 3 years. 7 plus 7 plus 7. 21. Simple interest. I'm not even compounding it. And on top of that, you have again lost 10%. That's around minus 32%. You're in negative minus 32. It's not just minus 10. So just think about this. And right now, have a very good um, strategy if you don't, if you're not financially aware. Just do talk to a financial advisor. A good one. A SEBI registered one and talk to him or her and just come up with a plan on how to start your investment journey and how to allocate uh, allocate your capital in different asset classes that's pretty important don't just invest only because the stock market is going up or don't just invest only in small and mid caps that's not how you invest and that's just me being a friend just letting you guys know i'm not advising you of any sort okay and the standard disclaimer i'm not a sebi registered advisor and this is not an ad um a stock recommendation or an investment advice this is purely purely for educational content i'm just sharing my journey with you guys okay so just watch out for uh, my new video and uh, i have a strategy on positional trading and it's um, a positional stra trading strategy that i mean takes into account um, some depth components like if the nifty or if the market is going down if uh, you don't find any good stocks we are going to invest that money or that we should have invested in equity into debt okay so there is a depth component inbuilt into the positional strategy so you can check the link in the description it's just for 9.99 that's 1000 rupees i've just kept it at minimum so that people at least value it but on on top of that i'm i'm also coming up with a new free strategy a positional one to trade nifty and bank nifty i'm working on it i'm back testing it right now currently so I'll, I'll come up with a strategy and i'm planning to give it away for free but um, do check out the positional strategy that's just for 1000 rupees and it's going to be worth uh, your money just do check it out just give it a shot it's purely for education purpose and education is important so just invest a little bit in education and it's going to give you a very very good return and you're not going to see such returns if you invest in education so that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any queries, do ask me in the comments. Do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can receive a notification about our next videos. And I'm going to come up with a couple of new videos that's going to be really, really educational. And you're going to learn a lot about from, lot from them. And do like this video. It helps me to rank my video. It's a pretty new channel. And I'm trying to get some good views. And your like goes a long way just to rank my videos on youtube thank you so much again take care bye